<laughs> You're probably gonna get radiation and fucking die. I hope so. I've been ready to die for a while. More doge content. Look at him go. I got this for you. My buddy Chris's 1995 uh, Mazda RX-7 FD. If you guys know anything about a 95 RX-7, you know that this is a 1 of 500 car. So it's super rare. It's super cool. We're we'll doing a cool video on this car soon. But this car's been overheating. So we're doing some basic stuff. Um, we've been, we checked out the water pump. It all works out. Cooling fans coming on. Um, but he's still getting hot temps. So what we've done is we've narrowed it down to the thermostat here. So went to O'Reilly's, got a thermostat. We're going to pop a thermostat house and put a thermostat in. And uh, bleed the coolant system and go from there. And so now what we're gonna do is we're going to be taking off this intercooler pipe right here so we can get access to the thermostat housing. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh my God, that hurts. All right, so now I've got the airflow pipe out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and pop off all these bolts here for the thermostat housing. My face hurts a lot, but we'll get working. I would imagine. It's I the mean, cold then. Yeah, it's also 23. You want a drink? Snapple apple. Snapple apple. I want a cold one. All right, so I pop some of these bolts off. I take the water pump pulley off real quick. Once the water pump pulley is off, I'm gonna access this last bolt that's right here. Pull the thermostat housing off, and then go from there. So, keep one of these. Alright, so now I get access to this last one right here. I'm gonna pop this off. If you have anything to catch cool with, you're gonna put it underneath right now. We don't have anything, we're just gonna fucking send it. Don't worry, I will follow it with a water hose so no animals drink it. No, nah, hopefully all the animals drink it. <laughs> How great this would be if this happened in summer. Alright, so now we have access to the thermostat here. So we're gonna pop this bitch out. It's gonna might drop some coal everywhere. There she is. Doesn't look too bad, honestly. But I'm gonna place it anyway. Rip the seal off. If you have a new seal, you really need to use it. This doesn't come with a seal. I'm just gonna use the old one, throw it on. Perfect, just like that. We're gonna sleeve it back in here. Make sure you put it in the right way, obviously. Same way it came out. And then Got thermostat housing again, put it right back on. Rebolt it back in again. That's how fast it is to a thermostat. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty quick. It's fucking freezing that side. Yeah. Everybody stay tuned for this. This is a LS swapped 96 F-150. It has an 80, 80, I don't know. It's a big fucking turbo. Shut the fuck up. Try not to shock yourself. That belt in our belt back. There we go. Just like that. Now we're gonna tighten all these up. And tighten this last thing up. It's freezing. It is very cold outside today. It is very cold. So try to do this as fast as possible. I haven't done much explaining because it's really fucking cold. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Just trying to give you guys some fucking quality content while we work on this fucking bullshit car. This has been fucking annoying. You know, it'll all be sorted out soon. Just some minor things. At least it runs to drive. All right. 
new thermostat is installed. Put the coolant in her and bleed out the coolant. All right, so we're gonna fill up the coolant here. Now, what you guys really need is a uh, a funnel to burp the coolant with. If you guys have one, that's that's the best way to do it. Um, if you don't necessarily have a bubble, there is a very cheap and efficient way to do this, which not necessarily the best way. What you can do is you can pop. If your air separator tank is blocked off, it's makes it even easier. If it's not, then figure out a way, but you're gonna block off the overflow coolant line. You're gonna go like this with your thumb, place it on top. You're gonna grab your upper radiator hose right here. You're gonna go like this with it for a little while here for a few pumps, let off. You look down the hole, you're gonna see Let's cool it down there, so we're gonna add some more in there. Don't worry, it was, you've already put a lot of coolant in the car, we're not just putting water in the freezing cold. Make sure you're doing a 50-50 mix. Um, this is probably gonna be more like a 70-30, because it's a little bit of colder outside. We're gonna add some water to it again. Water stopped off, block off the hole, block off the other hole. Give it some squeezes or some pulls. Let off. Once again, no coolant. Let's so add some more in there. Another tip I have, I have is if you guys are running an FC, if you're an FCRX7, you can actually, before you put the thermostat housing back on, fill it from the thermostat housing to, to get the more coolant circulating in the block, and then bleed it that way. It's way easier, but with an FT, it's not quite as simple because the thermostat comes straight out instead of the top. I'm gonna keep bleeding this out real quick. It's getting there. So we got some water. I'm gonna give just another one of these real quick. Just a little more water. Okay. She's filled up. Put the hose back on. All right guys, so what we've done is we've gone ahead and replaced the thermostat on this car. Now, I wanna talk about overheating the RX-7 in general. There's multiple ways to check to see what's overheating in the car. The first thing you guys need to check to make sure your coolant jackets are intact, make sure there's no combustion gases going into the, into the, the coolant, is you need to take off your radiator cap, pipe radiator cap, run the car, and check for bubbles. If it's not bubbling in the coolant, Makes you have good coolant jackets for cars overheating. Um, the next thing you check is obviously for circulation of the water with the water pump. So if you're looking through this, if you see movement in the in the, in the radiator cap, you see movement, these water pumps working. Feel the pipes or, or feel the feel the, the radiator pipes. Now the top the top one here is one that is pressurized after the thermostat is opened up. So this top one might not have pressure for a little while, and then it'll get harder when the thermostat opens up as the car reaches temp. If this top line is not hard, or there's no pressure and it, it's not warm, that means that you have a bad thermostat and you need to replace it. But I mean, that's your pretty much your simple stuff to do. Um, water pump's pretty easy. Water pumps don't fill in these cars very often. They're super simple. They just run on the front car. We just zip off the bolts and put them on. We just put the thermostat. We're gonna fire up the car, warm it up, make sure it's all circulating good, and uh, hopefully everything's good to go. Uh, but I wanna thank you guys for tuning in. That's been an episode of Rotors, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.